Libra, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Libra, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Libra, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Terrible. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you today, Libra. First card, Six of Swords. Right now, your angels are telling you that there is a energy in the, in the past that's a familiar energy. For you to move on from this energy, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Then come to the present moment, the now. And in the now, there's something that they're waiting to gift you. And it has something to do with your finances. This is a major career opportunity. This is a major opportunity for you to excel and grow when it comes to investments, business. And I see here you mastering your finances finances, but they need the energy in the present moment. And I have a trick, it's called the play technique. Oh my goodness, this works every single time like a charm. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to bring that energy to the present moment so you never miss an opportunity. And I'm gonna show you by the end of your reading how to not wait for your manifestation, but watch it before your eyes. Now check this out. King of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, the energy of love, lover's card, high priestess, seven of cups. This is a beautiful spread for you. And I also do see here, you got the Eight of Pentacles, which is really going to show that you are mastering something when it comes to your career. The resistance portion, right? This is it right here. You got the Five of Cups next to the Five of Wands. That's a synchronicity right there that you're putting extra pressure on yourself, which is causing resistance. And I'll show you how to clear that energy with the Eight of Cups. You walk away from this and then you're good to go. You're 98% there. You're on the cusp of something big happening, Libra. Now, your manifestation for today is Abundance Flows To Me. Write this down in the comment section, abundance flows to me. Let the universe know you are ready. Remember, this is a fractal holographic universe. You have to let the universe know you are ready. This is how it works using the law of attraction. So invite and welcome abundance in your life by quantum entangling with this energy. Write this down in the comment section. Abundance flows to me by commanding, assuming, expecting this energy. Abundance flows to me. This is your birthright. Write this down, Libra, in the comment section. Right now, you don't have to second guess whether or not there are opportunities coming your way. Your angels and guides are telling you they want you to make money five different ways. They want you to make money not only through an investment, but also through businesses, also through working, also through many, many different ways. Like for example, my wife and I, we got Airbnbs, we got you know YouTube channels, we have uh, um, um, Amazon businesses, we have retail businesses, we have investments. This is something that you are meant to have. Like we are, we're not anyone special. We just figured out how to play this game and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it as well so you are making passive income this is your birthright and your angels are telling you that you are meant to feel this energy and really just be in this vibration with people that are on the same energy frequency as yourself so People, like a person who really sees you, right? Not just looks at you, but looks in your eyes and sees galaxies, right? When I look at my wife, I see past lives. This is the energy, this is your birthright. I want you to wear this crown and own this. The only reason that you may not be feeling like this is because we've been brainwashed and influenced by the matrix to settle. This is completely normal, but trust me, you are beautiful. You, there's at least 11 different dimensions or this whole universe would collapse in on itself. I'm trying to let you know that your higher self that's in the fifth dimension your higher self is fearless and bold and this is you so i never want you to feel fear again i'm gonna show you how to control this this is you right now own this energy now what is going on is you feel a little bit of limiting beliefs and mostly likely because you are putting too much pressure on yourself. You're telling yourself, why did I do this? Why did I not do this? I should have done this. I should have not done this. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? The story of the matrix. This is what we've been brainwashed and influenced to feel. Anything that you're dealing with right now, it was only so you experience contrast. So for example, when you had a business or if you dated someone and it didn't go according to plan, it's not because you were a failure or things went wrong. It's only so you experience that, that contrast so you know what you actually do want. For example, you need to know what cold is to know hot. You need to was joyous to no pain. So for example, 
imagine you dated someone a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, timeline doesn't matter. And imagine you broke up. Now, imagine from time to time you have a thought, you're like, oh, I can't believe I wasted my time. Even if it's a small thought, when you have that thought, what you're actually doing is you're breathing life into it. You cannot, you don't have the luxury of doing that. I'll give you an example. You go camping, fire's about to go out, but if you go to the fire and go and blow air into it, the flames are gonna go. So you cannot breathe life into a thought that you don't want at all, even if it's a small thought. Now that you're aware that this is not something you can do, walk away from it. If something is not a definitive yes, that means it's a no. I'll give you an example. If you have a thought and it doesn't empower you, don't even think about it. Don't waste your energy. If, for example, if you wanna eat something and you're telling yourself, oh, I guess so, it's a no. If you wanna eat something and it's like, yeah, that's what I want, it's a yes, right? This is how you gotta go. Now this applies to everything. This energy, when you use that not breathing air into, you know, breathing life into a thought you don't want, when you use that energy, I see you not only regaining your power, but you got the eight of wands, six of swords up top, and you also have the world card. These are all travel cards. So you're going to be going on trips. You're going to be, you know, getting out of your environment. You're going to be really seeing the world traveling. All of this is waiting for you. And I'll show you a trick right now using that play technique to get it. And you never have to wait for something. So right now, this technique works for money, love, health, and the next chance you get, I want you to lie on your bed. Now I want you to move the pillow. I want your head level with the bed, right? So now lay back, palms up, and then I want you to say three different things. Breathe in and say, I am sleepy. I am so sleepy. I am so very sleepy. Repeat that over and over, over and over again until your body gets into a passive state, which really means like it doesn't want to wiggle anymore. Now, once you hear 50% is done, literally when you're in this passive state, this is the gateway or entrance into the other realms. This is how you get into the other realms. Now, once you're done this, I want you to visualize yourself at a play. You have front row seats. This is the most beautiful play. Now, this is the ending of the play. You don't remember the middle. You don't remember the beginning. All you're there, you remember the ending and everyone's clapping and you're standing and it was the most happy, successful play. That feeling of the end. Ah, what a beautiful play. Now the feeling of the end, I want you to keep it. I want you to replace play for a desire. I want you to visualize that promotion that you got or your soulmate. I want you to visualize 10 years in, the end of your, with, when you're with your soulmate, for example, not how you met them, the middle portion, nothing. You've already been with them for 10 years. The feeling, the feeling of the end of being having what you want or your promotion, the feeling of having that promotion for five years now. You've already been making that money for five years. That feeling right there is where it's at. So the passive state with the end result, boom, these two together, it is impossible for you not to quantum leap and get what you're looking for, impossible. You will 100% get what you want very, very quickly. And this trick works like a charm. So lay on your bed, get in that passive state. Remember, I am so sleepy. Then visualize the end result of what it is you're looking for. Don't worry about the details. That is confusing and there's too much thinking. The end result feeling, the visualization is to give you the feeling. That is all matters and that right there is going to help you attract exactly what it is you're looking for. Enjoy this trick. Now, check this out. Your animal spirit, bobcat spirit, look at the message. Life is a mystery. We don't need to know the middle of portion, who, what, when, where, how. Remember, just the end result. Be in, be really just almost entertained by the fact that you don't know, you don't need to know. The who, what, when, where, how that is a lot of thinking, but just feeling the end result, that mystical, spiritual, quantum energy of the end is exactly what your angels and guides want you to focus on. So almost be excited for the mystery of not knowing. Look at it from the perspective of it is a breath of fresh air. All right, Libra, now final message from your spirit guides. Look at the message and the beautiful card, empowerment. Yes, please. And right now, the message to you is the moment you, for respect for life and all living things, attuning to nature and to the creatures of, of, creatures of earth is at hand. Tune into the deep well of compassion that spills over readily to anyone who needs your help. You are being directed to take action to remove difficulties and resolve problems be perceptive to guidance from wherever it comes to you. So right now, your spirit guides are letting you know they're going to be showing you different ways of doing things. It's gonna come in the form of synchronicities, right? They're gonna leave little hints and clues. Angels,
angel numbers, 111-333-444, or feathers on the ground, or bubbles, or birds popping out of somewhere, or it's loud sound when you have a thought that's more pleasant. But they're going to show you and guide you, and it's gonna be more of an intuitive energy. So be aware of it, be on the lookout for it, embrace it when you see it, recognize it, and let your angels guide you. Remember, your angels, your intuitive energy is your emotional guiding system, it's your GPS. Follow it to the abundance that awaits you. That's why I'm like, right down, the abundance flows to me. Quantum entangle with this energy. Let the universe know you're ready and be receptive to this energy that's awaiting you. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.